Happy afternoon, boys and girls. We are going to read Nibbles, the Book Monster. Caution, this book bites. It's by Gemma Yarlett. This is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. Nibbles liked to nibble soap and nibbles nibble socks. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks and nibbles bunches clucks. Nibble loves to nibble toes and nibbles nibbles hooks. But nibbles favorite thing to nibble is Oh no! Where is Nibbles? He nibbled his way out of this book. Can you see him? Where is he? Hmm. I wonder where he could be. Recipe for nibbles. Look at there he is. Oh no! Nibbles has nibbled his way into someone else's story. Goldilocks and the three bears. Oh no, look at he ate right through there. First Goldilocks tried a big bowl of porridge. Yeah, too salty. Then she tried the in-between size of porridge. Ooh, too sweet. Then Goldilocks tried the teeny tiny bowl of porridge and it was <gasps> a monster. Burp. When the three bears came home, they were shocked. Someone eaten my porridge. Someone smashed my chair. Someone's broken everything. It wasn't me. It was a monster. Look at, he nibbled right through the book. The three bears are in for quite a surprise when they return from home and realize a curious little yellow-haired rascal has eaten their chairs and slept in their... Oop, we can't even finish it. Tasty porridge? We join the naughty little hairy critter on this classic fairy tale adventure. Poor Goldilocks, naughty Nibbles has nibbled his way into another story. <gasps> Hurry, let's catch him. Little Red Riding Hood. Look at, he ain't right through there. Help! Stop that nibbler. He just nibbled my granny's lunch basket. And he nabbed my cloak. Cloak is like a uh, jacket. Deep in the dark, dark forest, Little Red found Grandma's cottage. Little Red knocked on the door and went inside. Grandma looked very strange. I look strange. What about Little Red? She doesn't look right at all. Oh, Little Red. What cute, fluffy paws you have. What a rumbly, grumbling tummy you have. And what nibbly little teeth. But the better to nibble you with. And a terrible hulu. Grandma was set free from the cupboard. Let me in. The story is meant to be about me, my hero. Thank you, Nibbles. Oh, Nibbles, you've turned me into a chicken. I feel so fluffy. And the big bad wolf was never bad ever again. Little Red Riding Hood loves to visit her grandma's cottage in the dark, dark forest. One day she decides to take a picnic, but on the way she meets someone very, very hairy who wants to eat her picnic basket and red cloak for lunch. But, oh dear, Little Red Riding Hood was not happy. We've really got to catch Nibbles this time. He's making a really big mess out of everything. Let's go get him. <gasps> Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack just had just in time. 
The giant was home. Mr. Giant stomped through the giant's door and sat in his giant chair. But something didn't feel right. He took a giant sniff. Fee, fi, fo, bum. Something just bit my booty and they're running away with my goose. Mr. Giant tried to catch the intruder and the golden goose. Come back here. Okay, he ate right through the story. Fee, fi, fo, bum. I'll get you back for this, you nibbly hula hand. When Jack climbs a giant beanstalk in the back garden, he finds a giant house, a giant golden goose, and a giant grumpy giant. Will Jack set the poor goose free? And will he make it home for dinner? Rapunzel. Hooray! The golden goose is free at last. And it looks like he's taking Nibbles back to his own story. Yay! The golden goose has dropped Nibbles back in his own book. Ouch. Thank you, golden goose. Now quick, let's close the crate before Nibbles escapes. Whew. Well done. Now, you really mustn't take your eyes off of Nibbles. Not even for one second. Stop. Can you hear something? What's that noise? Nibble, nibble, choo, choo, nibble, nibble, choo, choo. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. Tell me what your favorite part was.